Welcome, welcome. Sleeves are something today for spring that are really dominating fashion. And they're so simple and so easy. And I've gotten several requests with photos that say, oh, will you do this? You know, will you do this? And you can do this. You know what, I'm happy to do it, but you guys can do this. And not only can you do it, but you can really decide for yourself what it is you want. And you know, there's so many variables. So it's so much fun to do this. And it takes two minutes for you to change the sleeve. But first off, I wanna show you all these photos. And the reason I wanna show you these is I really wanna show you the similarities that they have, even though you may not notice them, I, you might, but I, you know, I don't wanna insult your intelligence, but I just wanna bring in the similarities of all of these. And also as we go through them, I want you to notice the price points and then we'll go back to what we're gonna talk about. The first one here is a woven sleeve. So we're talking about a full sleeve, like what I've got on. Now I've done one and I've done, I'm not done this one and I'll show you why in a minute. But this is just a full sleeve and it's full at the bottom. And we'll talk about how much, we'll talk about the pattern work in just a minute, but I want you to see the variables. So this first one, what I want you to see is it's the same sleeve, just instead of attaching the elastic at the bottom, they're moving it up from the hem, but the, the draft of the sleeve, the shape of the sleeve, everything else is the same. The next one then is the sleeve's been shortened and there's been a little cuff added. And again, notice in the first one it's a woven, the second one it's woven. The pattern work doesn't make a difference if it's woven or knit. This third one is a $1,300 woven shirt from Carolina Herrera um, at Neiman Marcus in stock right now. I actually went and saw it and I measured the bottom and did all of my homework on this. It's just amazing how simple this is. This is the classic blouse pattern 600 with this sleeve that we're talking about. It's got a band at the bottom. It's got a couple rows of trim throughout the inside. You guys know how to do this. It's just the ideas that are so uplifting and so exciting. It's really the why I love to shop because there's so many beautiful ideas out there and they all come back to some very simple concepts. This next one now is lace and lace in blouses and sleeves are absolutely beautiful. This is a $500 little blouse here. It's amazing how simple these ideas can be. The next one is a ruffle is added you know, at the top of the sleeve and then a little bow. It's a beautiful little sleeve. Notice the body is very simple and plain. It's all about that sleeve. And, but this is a beautiful look and a beautiful sleeve. The next one is, um, again, in a black lace, shortened. This is a great look, especially with jeans. I love a jean look with a beautiful blouse or um, a, a t-shirt. So this one that I have on now, I wanted to do in a knit. In fact, I used uh, the fabric is 3085. There are so many wovens that we have that would have worked. I really just wanted to do it in a knit. A lot of this 3108 would be great. That we have beautiful, beautiful fabrics that would be wonderful in this. I decided to pair it with the cowl simply because I wanted the softness of the cowl and the softness of the sleeve. I felt like that was a win-win. I wanted you know, the complementary of that. I added length to the bottom. So my base pattern is 550. One you have, we've done it over and over again. Um, but this time what I'm doing is let's show you the sleeve work. So if you look at this little diagram, I wanted it to be two to one. We've talked about fullness many times. One and a half to one is typically one on the body. This is extreme. So we do, we're gonna do this two to one. And the two to one, if I measure my original sleeve at the bottom, my knit sleeve, what I'm doing now is I'm using my knit armholes. You know, I'm coming in with my armhole templates and I'm using my knit front and my knit back is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm adding simply, I'm doubling the width of the sleeve. So instead of it being nine, which is typically what it is from the size I use, I'm gonna make it 18. So that means I'm adding nine. And if you notice what I'm doing is I'm adding four and a half inches to each side. Don't add it to one or another, keep it easy, keep it on both sides of that grain line. If it's a woven and use the same pattern for a knit, four and a half inches on both sides. And then you also notice I'm adding a little bit of length and that's simply because I want a little bit of stacked. I want a little bit of fullness at the bottom. That's actually your call. If you decide you want it shorter, you can pull it up. The reason I left this one open is I'm using my two inch wide elastic. You can get this and you can just use it for everything. And what I did is I literally just cut it nine inches because that's what I wanted my restored sleeve to be. And I just cut it down the center. And it was nine inches, I made my band. Now what I can do, and I would do this on the inside, I guess you could do it on the outside, but you can see if I put the, if I put the elastic there, I have one of the sleeves I showed you. If you put it higher up, 
you have another of the sleeves I showed you, or you could do it in a band. It goes in the inside. You can just literally sew it right onto the sleeve. You don't need a casing or anything. You can just stretch it, stitch it right onto the sleeve, and then let the elastic pull itself back, and you've got a great casing wherever you want it to be. So when you talk about what you're adding, add the four and a half inches to both sides, and then add a little bit of length. Just You can always cut it off in case you don't need it, but you don't want the sleeve to be too short from what you want it, and then you can just turn it up and do your hem. But I love the look. I just love the look. I think it's so pretty and so graceful. And when we're dealing with a lot of these ruffles and softness is, and femininity is really what spring's all about, it really brings just such an easy change from what we're doing to what we can do. I want to talk about the cowl for just a minute, just to remind you. The cowl pattern can only be done in a woven fabric. The pattern work. I know you can do it in a knit, but the pattern work can only be done in a woven simply because you can't have a cowl with negative ease. The cowl won't cowl if you have negative ease. So it's only done in a woven pattern. Now what that means is the sleeve inside this pattern is meant for a woven blouse. It doesn't mean you can't change it, which is what I did. I took the cowl. I didn't make any changes to it. I mean, I added length, but I made it just as I would for the woven, even though it's a knit because I wanted the cowl, but I wanted a knit sleeve. I wanted a closer fit up here and then the fullness at the bottom. So I used my 195 sleeve and then I added the fullness as you're seeing in the drawing. That's it, it's so easy to do, it's so fun to do. On the back neckline of the cowl, you wanna make sure, again, because it's woven, the woven stabilizes the cowl. So if you can't do a cowl front and a cowl back, I've said this many times, because nothing will stabilize the cowl. The cowl will just keep growing. So I have to have a fixed back and a cowl front or a fixed front and a cowl back. So in this case, because it's a knit and that knit is not as stable as a woven, I added in just a piece of string or trim or bias, anything bias binding, anything that is stable that will keep that neckline from growing so that my neckline stays stable. And that's it. It's just easy to do. It's fun to do. It's a great way. I love sleeves in the fall. I mean, in the spring, I think that because for me, I could even wear shorts outside. As long as my arms are covered, <laughs> I stay warm. I know that's a crazy thing. Um, but this will give you a great sleeve opportunity to change them around, do them, do them woven, do them knit. It won't make a difference. Just have fun sewing. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.